two. Joseph Petrakovic in red, Robert Barth in blue, Arndt Fall in white, and Pietro Polosh in yellow and black as they race from the tapes, and it's a rider in white who's really got a terrific start. That's Arndt Fallen from Norway, and the home crowd always thought this young fellow was going to do things. One that's caught the eye on several occasions, and for me it's a wonder he hasn't been snapped up by so many other European clubs, and uh, races for one of the Swedish clubs in the Division 1, and doing very, very nicely indeed for them, but... Uh, Bit of a thrill version on his days, Arndt Fallen leads this one from Robert Barth from Germany in second place. And Joseph Petrakovic for Hungary in third. Just look how close they're getting is now. Robert Barth comes into the fray from Germany, more noted for his long track and his grass track exploits, but still a, a very, very fast motorcyclist. One more lap to go here in the Algarna, 286 metre circuit. Tremendous action from the Nordic final last week, and now all of a sudden Petrakovic's coming in on Robert Barth. But round the final two bands, they coming up to take the win for the host nation. It's on Fallen that gets there. Second place is Robert Barth from Germany. And in third place is Joseph Petrakovic for Hungary. So there he is. The home nation get three points in heat number two. Arndt Fallen doing the best for Norway. He gets three. Germany get two. And Hungary get one point. Heat three. Zoltan Heiju in red for Hungary. Thomas Megler in blue for Germany. Lars Gunnestad, Norway in white. And Miroslav Kavalak in yellow and black for Poland. So the tapes rise on the first one into that turn. It's all four together. But coming round in blue is Thomas Megler from Germany. Now in yellow black is Kavalak from Poland. Just look at him go around the outside. Kavalak comes through to take the lead from R Thomas Megler in second place. And now Heidu coming through to join him. Jeff a little bit wide, but he's on the back wheel of Megler from Germany. Zoltan Heijo from Hungary now, trying every line that he's got through on Thomas Megler from Germany. So it just proves that it doesn't matter what nation you come from, you can still provide the thrills if the racing strip is well prepared. The action is fast and furious. It's Miroslav Kovalik comes round the back straight for the final time for Poland. Still in second place. In the lead is Norton Hejo for Hungary. And coming up to take the win is Kovalek for Poland, who gets there. He collects the three points for his nation. Very, very sporty letters, too, he's got indeed. So, Poland get three points from heat number three. Hungary get two. And Lars Gunnestel has to be content with third place in heat number three. So there we are, that's the scores on the board after the three heats of this World Team Cup quarter-final here from the Algarna Stadium in Norway. Heat four, Zoltan Adorian, Hungary, rides in red. Karsten Paltzman in blue for Germany. Einar Killingstad, white for Norway. And Stanislav Drabik in yellow and black. No, it's the reserve coming. Jack Kritz. Krasaniak coming in for reserve outing. So the action on, down goes the riders, yellow, black and red. Zoltan Adorian. And the rider in yellow and black. Let's take another look at what happens there. Sliding gracefully, and it is... The rider in red, Zoltan Adorian, who comes to grief first, followed by the rider from Poland. And uh, we keep our fingers crossed. There we see Zoltan Adorian from Hungary. He's been around quite a few years, and one that's never been snapped up in England, but in several world final appearances in both individual team and pairs. So the restaging of heat number four, all four back for the restart. Adorian red, Paltzman blue, Killingstad white, Krasaniak in yellow and black. Up go the tapes, those bikes roll into that first turn. And who's going to get the drop? It's Killingstad in white and Adorian in red. And Zoltan Adorian now hits a fray. Killingstad second place. Peltzman third for Germany. And Krasaniak back and forth. And Krasaniak now just taking Peltzman for minor positions. But Zoltan Adorian, who of course, a couple of years ago, Hungary done exceptionally well in that World Pairs final in Landsort in Germany when they followed home Denmark and Australia against the mighty Swedes and England on that occasion. So it is Zoltan Adorian leading. From in second place, Ina Killingstad, who of course only last weekend got through to the semi-finals of the World Individual. The only Norwegian to do it. Still it is Adorian leading from Killingstad in second place. Krasaniak for Poland in third position. 
coming up to take the win is Zoltan Adorian from Hungary who gets there. Second place, Aina Killingstad, Norway, and in third position was Krasaniak from Poland. So there we see eight to Hungary, three to Germany, six to Norway, and seven to Poland. That's the scores after heat number four. All riders now had one outing here in the Algarna Stadium. And as I say, they all meet each other once, and then after 16 heats, it's 40 action races of the points are divided, and the rider who finishes fourth in their positions goes in 17, third in 18, second top scorer in 19, and the top scorers in heat number 20. We'll tell you more about that after heat number five. As it takes rise on this particular race and into that first turn, they speed with graceful ease. And it's Robert Barth from Germany who's got the drop, but Lars Gunnarsson coming underneath him. Gunnarsson from Norway and Barth from Germany. Those two having a great scrap on the uh, corner circuit. Lazio Bodi from Hungary in third position at the moment. And Dravik back in fourth place. But it is Gunnarsson just holding the lead from Robert Barth. Saw this fella last season in the Ace of Aces grass track in Andover, England. Very, very speedy merchant on a, a motorcycle of any description, whether it's long track, grass track, speedway, stunt track racing. But now just beginning to lose grip on Lars Gunnarstad. And I expect Lars is really kicking himself at just missing the cut in last week's Nordic final. We're going to start by the proverbial mile on this 286-metre circuit here in the Algarna. Leading from in second place, Robert Barth. Still, Lazio Bodhi in third position. Coming up to take the win. It's good to start for Norway who gets there. Second place, Barth from Germany. And Bodhi from Hungary in third position. So just look how close it's getting. Hungary on nine, Germany on five, Norway on nine, and Poland on seven. And it's very close between those three sides. And of course, Germany will stage the second and final leg in Landshut in Germany next weekend. And they certainly want to keep in contention. Heat six, Joseph Petrakovic in red, Gert Riss blue, Anna Killingstad white, and Kovalik in yellow and black for Poland. Heat number six of this quarterfinal, Group B meeting here in Norway, Stavanger to be precise, and up they rise, and then to that first bend in the front, oh, they go together, and it's the rider in blue, Gert Riss, and we've lost the rider there in yellow and black, Miroslav Kovalik from Poland, and let's take another look at that in slow-mo. Just clips the back wheel there of Einar Killingstad and goes into no man's land. Tries to hang on to the bike, which is not a wise thing to do. Looks as though the bike hits the fence first, but we keep our fingers crossed for him. Looks a little bit of discomfort. On the old ambulance and on the stretcher, which is not very nice to see at any speedway meeting. We wish Miroslav Kovalik a speedy return to the circuits, but it certainly looks as though he's going to go to the Norwegian equivalent of Sir John's and be checked over by the track doctor. So the restaging of heat number six with no rider in yellow and black. Petrakovic, Riss and Killingstad in that order. And up they go and into that turn they race. Oh, and a little bit of a nudge from the rider in red on Killingstad. Petrakovic just nudges Killingstad, but Killingstad's back on him. But this has given Gert Riss the lead as they went down the back straight. So it's Gert Riss who leads. Killingstad in second place. Petrakovic third. Gert Riss from Germany, of course, reached the world final last season in the Olivi Stadium, where he finished in last position. He's got that engine that's laid down. Just take a look at that. It's a laid down. It's got the old slanter, not vertical, but horizontal, and it's a bit of a unique thing in speedway at the moment. Still it is. Gert Riss who leads from White, Einer Killingstad, from Red, Joseph Petrakovics. Down the back straight for the final time. Still Gert Riss who leads. Oh, lifts a bit on that track. Oh, lifts a what's up, but we look and see on the killing stand is the faller. Oh, poor old Gert Riss has got problems. Petra Kovics comes through to take the win. Gert Riss pushes his bike home and gets it over the line for two points. And Ina Killingstad pushes round for one solitary point. So 12 to Hungary, 7 to Germany, 10 to Norway, and 7 to Poland. That's the score after heat number six. And let's take a look at Gert Riss again. Was it his chain come off? He tended to lift it slightly there. And we have to wonder whether he loses. Yes, he certainly looks as though he's lost his chain in heat number six of this team quarterfinal from Stavanger in Norway. Heat seven, Heiju from Hungary, red, Zoltan Heiju, Karsten Poutsman, blue, 
Adler Knudsen White and Pietro Polusch from Poland in the yellow and black and speeding into that first turn and it's altered. Hejo from Hungary has just got the drop from Karsten Peltzman who comes up the inside of him. Karsten Peltzman had a brief spell with Middlesbrough in the Division 2 of the Sunbury League last season on the old National League. Yellow and black, Pietro Polusch in third position for Poland. But the Hungarians now with a bit of breathing space. Zoltan Hejo leads from Karsten Peltzman in second place. Pietro Polusch for Poland third. And Atel Gorodson for Norway back in fourth position. Coming in there, just losing a bit on the minor places per Norway on the home track. Gunnarstad doing very well. So is Killingstad and Forland a revelation. One more up to go of heat number seven. Down the back straight for the final time, and Zoltan Hejo leads for Hungary from Carsten Peltzman. Uh, certainly don't worry about this one, Carlsman, because your charity money is safe as they come up to take the win, and as Hejo gets there, Peltzman in second place, and Pietra Proust for Poland in third. So Hungary taking a five-point lead after heat number seven. 15 Hungary, Norway on 10, Germany on nine, and Poland on eight. And it's Zoltan Hejo, the winner of heat number seven. Zoltan Adorian is in red for Hungary. Thomas Megler for Germany in blue. Arndt Forlund, winner first time out in white. And Thomas Golov also winner first time out in yellow. So something's got to give as the tapes rise. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, on heat number eight. Starting Marshall walks away, the green light's on, the tapes rise. And after this, all the riders will have had two outings, and it's called oh, their rider in blue, Thomas Megler, who's just got the job of coming through it. Thomas Golob. Thomas Golob leads for Poland, second place. Thomas Megler from Germany. And Art Forland is in third position, which is not good news for Norway. Now comes up the inside of Thomas Megler as he got the drop. Art Forland and Megler having a rare old battle. Thomas Golob still in first position for <coughs> Poland. Second place to Thomas Megler for Germany. Arndt Forlan third. And Zoltan Adorian, which is a bit of a surprise for Hungary, back in fourth position. So the scores are going to equal ourselves out a little bit with Hungary back in fourth position in this one. Heat number eight of this World Team Cup quarter-final. First leg, second leg next weekend in Landsdorf in Germany. Round the final two bends, and it's going to be a win for Thomas Golov from Poland. The minor places are still up for grabs, but just kidding, the second place is Thomas Megler from Germany. And Arndt Forlan from Norway has to be content with third place. Just look at the scores on the board. Hungary on 15, and the other three nations, Germany, Norway and Poland, all on 11. So here we go then. Hungary 15, Zoltan Adorian 3, Zoltan Hado on 5, Joseph Petrakovics 4, Lazio Bodi on three. So Hungary's total after eight heats is 15 points. We move on to Norway, who are on 11 points. Lars Gunnarstad, four. Einar Killingstad, three. Arndt Forland, four. And Atra Knudsen yet to score. And it's bulk of the scoring being done by the big three. Gunnarstad, Killingstad and Nor and Forland. Norway on 11 points. Poland also on 11, Pietro Polosz on 1, Thomas Golub, two good wins to him, he's on 6, Miroslav Kavalik on 3, Stanemeyer, Drabek on Neil and Jack Kretzioff on 1. Poland's total after 8 heats is 11 points. And finally Germany also on 11, Gert Riss 3, Robert Barth 4, Peltzman and Megra both on 2. Join us for more Speedway after the break. of this World Team Cup quarter-final, first leg. Four nations, Hungary, Germany, Norway and Poland, all looking for just one place to go forward to Group A, the semi-final of the competition with the line-up.